Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I got another Jeans and Boots video for you. Today I have the Cody James Fisticuff straight leg jean that's also stretch denim and I got eight different kinds of cowboy boots with eight different toe shapes and heel sizes so we can see which boots these jeans go with best. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right, you guys know how this goes. Before I try these jeans out with some boots, we gotta know what we're dealing with, so let's get into the rundown. This is the Cody James Fisticuff Stackable Straight Leg Jean with Stretch Denim. This is their blue color. It's the only color that I saw they have for this jean. And like I said, it is a stretch denim of 99% cotton and 1% elastane. It has a regular fit, a stackable straight leg, and I ordered a stackable size too, which is 32, 36. Now my regular size is a 32, 34 if I wasn't looking to stack jeans. I am six foot one without boots and around 170 pounds, if that helps you guys out there. And when I get jeans to stack even if they're not labeled as stackable, which is kind of just a marketing term, uh, then it's 32, 36 all the way for me. It also has a zip fly, five pockets. It's also hand sanded for that fashion detail. That's what these sort of lines are up by the pockets and on the back of the legs there. So it's kind of faded when you get them new. They're made in Madagascar and they're coming in at $49 at bootbarn.com. If you guys are looking to support this channel in different ways, I do have a bunch of merch and products available at my store, like this t-shirt. If you head on over to jeremiahcraig.com slash store, you'll find t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, belt buckles, boot jacks, and more. And if you get something made or engraved by Twisted Willow Fabrication in Geneseo, New York that's available on my store, then you also get access to my Boots and Ballads Vault, where you can see videos early, you can get extra entries into giveaways, and so much more. So head on over to jeremiahcraig.com, and if you're interested in getting that Boots and Ballads Vault access, hit that Vault Access link. Now it's time to try these jeans out with some boots. All right, I got the Cody James Fisticuff straight leg stretch jean on right now, and it's definitely stretchy. It feels great. Love the stretch material that they got going on. It is a really long jean. They weren't kidding when they said stackable. So I bought my regular stack size, which if you're new to stacking, that just means buying a long size than what you usually are so that you get the bunching down there at the bottom. And that size for me is usually a 32, 36. That's what this is, but it is by far the longest 32, 36 that I've ever tried in my life. So we're gonna go through eight different kinds of cowboy boots with eight different kinds of toe shapes and heel sizes so we can see how these look with a bunch of different kinds of styles. We're starting out with a roper here. This is a Justin 3802 with a roper toe and a roper heel that you can barely see because the jean is almost covering it up entirely. Uh, give this an hour or two walking around and I'm sure that I would be walking on those jeans, which I'm not too much of a fan of. I know a lot of you guys don't mind it, but personally, I feel like it decreases the life of a jean. Uh, this stack is falling into this shorter roper boot, uh, which is the roper style. Uh, at 10 inches tall, you can see it falling in there. So we'll have to see how this works out with different kinds of boots, taller boots, so let's try it out with a Uto from Hondo. All right, here's the Hondo Uto example. This is a 2670 bull hide with the Uto, of course, and a two inch heel. And the jean is almost covering up the entire two inch heel. That's how long this jean is. This has never happened with any other jean that I've done a video on. It's, this is a two inch heel, guys. That's a two inch heel and it's pretty much down around the bottom of it. Wow. <laughs> so if you guys, if you guys were looking for some extra height there, looking for two inch, maybe two and a half inch heel boots, and we're looking for a jean to cover that heel to make it not so obvious that you're trying to get those extra inches, you know? <laughs> this might be a good option just to cover up that heel. 
so then nobody knows what size heel you're wearing. <laughs> But I guess it looks good in its own right if you were uh, kind of going for that look where you don't like to show the heel. Personally, I like to show a heel. Uh, this boot doesn't have a spur ridge. We'll have to try this jean out with a spur ridge here in a little bit <clears throat> so that you get the full effect of stacking and showing off the heel. But we got a long ways to go before we do that. Now let's try this jean out with an Arto. All right, here we have an Abilene 6661 black suede boot with an Arto and around a one and a half inch heel there. Uh, again, this is gonna come way down around the heel. So it's gonna cover up that heel quite a bit. It's a little bit slimmer than what I thought it was gonna be. So it's slim through the thigh. Um, which is definitely helpful that it's so stretchy. So some of you might not be able to pull this jean off at all if you got some like massive quads or something like that. As a skinny person myself, I do not. So this is a pretty form-fitting jean, at least around the thighs here. Now it's time to try this jean out with a J-toe. All right, here we have a J-toe. This is a BNV Water Buffalo calf boot. Uh, it's got about a one and a half inch heel. This is a boot that uh, comes up about 13 inches tall. It's got my logo there. Uh, it's very form-fitting to my leg. Uh, so this goes with a lot of different jeans. And uh, it's going well here. Uh, it's kind of catching that spur ledge a little bit, at least on this right foot, so you can kind of see just how much it's stacking. But over here, it's already sort of gone over top of it a little bit and eventually it would, so you're gonna get a look that's kinda like that. And uh, again, some people like that. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. I would rather see it stop at the spur ledge and then stack from there. They're not doing anything special here. It just reminds me of a Western fashion jean. Um, that's what I'm getting from this so far. But we'll see how it goes with the next example, which will be a snip toe. All right, here we have a Cayman Tail Black Cherry Snip Toe from Yeehaw Cowboy. And uh, this looks good. You got that snip toe there, you got about a one and a half inch heel. And as long as the jean stays above that heel, in my opinion, I think this is a good, I think this is a good combo. I can't be sure that it will, but uh, you do have just a little bit more textured material in this Cayman Tail that might keep that jean from moving down over the bottom of that heel there. So you're getting the good stack look that a lot of people like, and I like it as well. On um, this example here, I think this is the best pairing that we've seen so far. Uh, it is starting to go over that spur lift though, so it's probably only a matter of time before it ends up looking like that, and you're walking on it because they will stretch as you're wearing them. I mean, that's what jeans do. As you wear the jeans, they stretch out and they become a little bit more baggy. They're not gonna be new like this all the time unless they're fresh out of the dryer or something, right? So eventually you will get something like that and those jeans are just gonna rip. So I'm a little bit concerned about that with all of these boots so far, uh, but we still got a couple more to look at, so let's try it with a narrow square toe. All right, here we have a narrow square toe. This is a blackjack Piruku boot. This is specifically their V toe and also a about a one and a half inch heel. I think it's technically one and three eighths. They do look good as long as they actually stack and you don't end up walking on them, right? I think this is a good combo too. I'll probably try to wear this quite a bit, just as long as I don't end up walking on these jeans so frequently. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's try out another dress boot and a dress toe that I know I'll be walking on these jeans already because I'm so familiar with this boot. It's a French toe. All right, here we have the Boulet 8502 with a French toe and about a one and a half inch heel. This is a Cayman belly dress boot and uh, this is a boot that I find my jeans wrapping around the heel and walking on the jeans so frequently. I probably won't do this very much at all, um, but if they actually stacked, 
then uh, it would look a lot better. Now we will see the full stack potential because this last example has a spur ledge where the jeans will just stop and stack. Plus, it's a wide square toe with a double stitch well. All right, here's the last example that I have for you guys today. This is a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. It's a Hondo model number 3416. It also has a little bit higher of a heel and a spur ridge that's stopping those jeans right there so they can stack appropriately. We're getting the full stack potential of these jeans. <laughs> and that's a good reason to have a spur ledge if you didn't wear spurs, you didn't need them for work or anything. They do stop jeans so that you can stack a lot. Uh, some people will even get extra long sizes. Uh, I know folks who have stacked similar to me that do 32, 36, but sometimes they've even done a 32, 38 and stacked. So they got like lots of extra bunching all the way up the leg. I think that's a little bit overkill. Uh, <laughs> personally, I've always found uh, fine to stack my jeans with a 32, 36. And that way when you sit down, the jeans don't ride up, which is another advantage of stacking your jeans. Uh, I'm not so insecure about just buying my regular size and having those jeans ride up anyways, but uh, I know some people don't like it. This is a tall boot coming in at 14 inches tall. So the stacking does a really good job of covering up all of that leather there that uh, makes the boot so tall. And this was my last example. I think that this is the best example for these jeans, but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. If you're looking for stack, these jeans do not lack. <laughs> it's even in the name coming from Cody James. Lots of extra slack. Yes. If you're looking for more Cody James jeans, why don't you check out these ones up here that I did called the Bozeman. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yes. Peace. Have a good one.